Hello. Um, right, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make a Star Wars X-Wing fighter out of two pegs, that is clothes pegs. So, here's my little uh, pack of clothes pegs there. Okay, two pegs like that. And, wonder of wonders, you can produce something as fantastic as this. Look at that. My goodness gracious, doesn't that look just like a Star Wars X-Wing fighter? All right, I'm looking to the side because my camera doesn't work properly and I have to look at my computer screen over there to actually see whether it's working okay. So, all kind of digital age stuff here. Right, so, um, the reason why I'm making these is that it's my son's birthday party uh, in, at the weekend and I'm broke and I've got to make lots of little goodie bag toys and uh, this is what a standard tight-arsed father will do, okay? Just how deep they will sink. Anyway, so to make our X-Wing fighter, first, pull your peg apart, like this. And the first thing we need to do, I'll plug my glue gun in. There we go. So I've got a lovely glue gun here. You can see that. Da, 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 da. That's where we're going to be, how we're going to be gluing everything together. So basically, these two bits of peg, they're going to glue together like that to make the body. Bingo. There we go. Like that. And these two are actually going to make the wings. So the first thing we have to do is chop them down. So I need to turn that around kind of like that. So I mean, so da, 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 da. I'll put that across there. You can use it as a little template. And we're going to do this. So um, whatever I'm going to do, let's do it that way around. I'll put that on there like that. You probably won't be able to see a thing when this is on YouTube, but anyway. Draw that across there like that. Do it around this side, so I'll do that across there like that. And really the, um, yeah, we can draw that there like that. And it's kind of across there like that. So basically that's the little bit of wood, if you can see that, I need to remove that little bit kind of there, like that. So what I do, it, do with it is use my trusty Swiss Army knife, trying to make sure I don't take my finger off, and just uh, cut the wood off like this. There probably would be a better way of doing it, but this will have to do, I think. So, um, a bit off there like that. I think that'll do. So then that's basically uh, one of the wings there, like that. Bingo. Okay. Uh, next thing, do the other one. Uh, well, you do the other one just the same as that. I may as well not do it because that's going to be quite bored, boring to watch. So the next thing to do is get a saw and cut it in half. Now, I just want to measure them up through the middle. And I've forgotten my ruler, but never mind. I think it's going to be about there, like that. So let's put a line on it. Yeah, that should do. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And then the thing is, is actually trying to saw it safely. So, without cutting the table. So my wife is not going to be particularly happy about this. So I just saw it very, very gently. Like that. That's about halfway through. Put it on top of my little pile of pegs to saw the rest of it. Seems to have got it there like that. Okay. So, uh, cut that one. That's one little kind of wing done there. Do the next one. Um, right, so the next thing to do is just... Oh! Is to just uh, glue it together. So, what we can do is take my glue gun like this, making sure I don't um, burn myself with the hot glue. I can go on there like that. You don't have to use a glue gun, it's just um, 
a bit more convenient really so let's plonk that together like that and also this is quite nice and um, quite nice and yeah it, glue, it glues really quickly that's the thing you see I mean that's ready to go now that's fine oh there you are uh, yes my camera conked out so um, we're back again um, okay so the next thing to do is to um, glue our little x-wings together so if we get uh, that one there and that one there like that, bingo, we can just glue those together, okay, and um, also the other two need to be glued together, just like that, okay, so again, get the, uh, the old hot glue out, there like that, and just moving quickly, let's get that one on there, okay, it's that one, Oops. That one on there. One on there like that. Okay. Then lastly, what I like to do is I like to put the little peggy thing on here like this. Actually it's not last, we've got loads of things to do yet. Uh, stick that on there like that, and that one down there like that. There we go. So then I've got my little peggy kind of bit there. Then we need to glue the actual X-wing um, wings onto the bodywork like that. So I'm going to put one there like that. Okay. Again, let's just uh, put plenty of this glue on here. A blob of that there. I want it to be quite tough and what's nice about this glue is it tends to be quite rubbery out and I've just burnt myself, well done. Okay, so a bit more of the glue there. It's very hot. Okay, so stick that one in there like that. Like I said, if you you don't have to use these um, glue guns like that. Okay, so there's my basic um, X-Wing fighter. A lovely bit of glue drip down there. Um, the next thing we need to do is uh, paint it. Um, so what I'm going to do is get some silver cellulose paint here, like that. Let's undo it. Oops, that's going to open it up on me. And just paint the thing so it's fairly kind of obvious what to do. Paint it a nice shade of silver. Blob it on quite a lot, I want it nice and thick. Like that. Okay, let's just grab that there. And really, just leave that there. Oops. To dry. Okay, let's put that down there. And then what you need to do once it is all dry, and it won't take too long, is just uh, paint a nice little cockpit bit there. Paint the little kind of red designs along the side there like that. And then I've glued a little bead on the top. And that is basically R2-D2. Okay. Um, hopefully being able to uh, fix anything if it breaks. Okay. So no, no doubt it will break. Um, like I said, not the most brilliant thing in the world. But um, I think it should hopefully entertain the troops. Okay, that's about it really.